Hey guys, my name is Katie, and today I'm in Claiborne, Texas with Judah here. He's a ramble a weather, which means that he's a boy, he just doesn't have his testicles anymore. Um, ramble a is actually the most common wool commercial breed in Texas, but I don't get a lot of these guys because they're just not very common in the hobby farm scene. So today we're going to use him as an example of the breed. Um, he is pretty old, seven or eight years old, which they only live... 10 to 14 years uh, naturally. Sometimes they can go more than that in domestication, which obviously he's a pet, he's domesticated. But uh, we're gonna check out his fleece today. He's gonna be a little bit thin, which you can expect as they get older, and he's kind of past his wool growing prime. This also isn't a full year. This is, He was shorn in the summer and it's the spring now, but he's pretty excited about this, so let's get to it. nervous when they have full faces like that and big wrinkles like this. Oh, 
can't get that ear cleaned up though. With that tag there. sheared pretty well obviously fine wools are not my specialty but we got out nick free and i can't complain about that he's got a couple patches but it's hard to kind of go around those hip bones and the spine that comes with age plus this guy hasn't been feeling very well just recently he's been down with some sickness so that kind of shit but i think we're done here come on buddy let's check out that fleece Good thing there's no mirrors in the pasture. <laughs> He'd be mad. <laughs> okay, here we go. Look at that, guys. Look at that crimp. Not uh, near as long as some of the other fleeces that we've shorn, but wow, look at that. It's just super, super wavy, super crimpy, and you can see it's like that throughout. All this beautiful stuff. And the shine the lanolin gives to it is awesome. All right, let me see. Let's weigh this thing. Oh, damn. Maybe one day I'll learn how to tie this thing right. It's hard because I don't want it to come off, but also I want to be able to take it off. Ooh, six pounds. That's actually the average weight of a Rambouillet fleece, so I'm pretty impressed that is it at his age 
with the deterioration in his wool quality that he was even able to produce that much. That's awesome. Now that obviously has a lot of lanolin and stuff in it, but um, that's an impressive fleece for not even a whole year. Huh. All right, well, if you thought that was cool, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Check us out later. We'll be sharing lots of llamas, sheep, and alpacas. Maybe you'll even see this guy again. Uh, maybe not, who knows? I don't know what I'm doing here. But if you like it, join the tribe. If you don't, maybe just check in on us whenever, you know, you need your shearing fix.